Hi guys, how's it going? This is me, Coop. I'm from sculptbeauty.com and you are watching another one of my makeup tutorials. Now today's look looks a little bit like this and I know it looks complicated, but isn't it beautiful? Now I have been getting a lot of requests for Arabic style makeup, so I thought um, I think it's been a while that I haven't done Arabic style makeup, so I thought I'd do one today for you. Now, um, there are different types of Arabic style makeup, believe it or not, and this one is the Khaliji style. So, as you can see, it's a little bit complicated. We have a lot of blending going on and and double double line eyeliner with um, this white this white shading going on. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, I have been getting a lot of requests for this look and um, I'm going to show you where people are getting it from, right? This is a campaign that Sculpt Beauty did a while ago um, and this is the Khaliji style Arabic uh, eye makeup which I'm going to show you today and this is the picture um, that I am, um, that the look is from. Okay, so I do see a lot of people on Facebook trying to try this look. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so if you like this look, please watch it. Okay, so we're going to get started and as you can see I have already prepped my eye uh, by applying my primer onto my eyelid. I've got some scotch tape which I've applied um, at the side of my eye creating a line going up, a guide going upwards. Now you don't have to use this. I don't really use it but I'm using it just to show you um, for those who do need uh, a guide and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, it is quite kind of tricky look to, you know, at the end of your eye to create this look, okay? And also I have applied some loose powder at the bottom of my eye also to um, catch any fallout, okay? So we're gonna get started and this is quite a complicated look so I'm gonna try not to speak as much, okay? So don't start thinking, oh, what's wrong with this one? She's a bit quiet so she's not nattering as much, okay? It's just because I wanna fit this all in. Okay, so for this look, I'm gonna use the Scott Beauty Artist um, Pro Artist Palette and I'm not sure if you've guys seen this um, yet. It is one of our newer, our newer um, palettes. Now, I'm going to use, oh, it's also a bit fiddly. I'm going to use the black, which is here. Now, there's about three blacks in this palette, and they're all slightly different. Um, you need to take a good look at them to realise that they're different. Um, so I'm going to use the darkest of them all. Now, get a flat application brush, and I'm going to start applying this black. Pack your, pack your brush out with colour. Now, we're going to start from the end today. And we're going to pat this colour on to your the end of your eye lid. And now what I'm going to do in little small strokes, I'm bringing this colour in. Now it doesn't matter if your line is too sharp that you're creating. We are going to blend everything in. Okay? And I've got that there. Okay, so that is how your eye should look at the moment, okay? Now, you'll need quite a lot of brushes for this, guys, because, you know, we're applying different colour and, you know, um, you need to kind of get it right. Okay, so we're going to apply the purple next, okay? So get another brush. And the purple that I'm going to use is going to be this one, okay? And it's a dark purple. Yeah, now you can actually use a lighter purple if you wish. This whole look is about experimenting. The whole thing about these tutorials is about experimenting. Okay, so pat this colour onto your black. And if you could, if you notice, I'm starting not right in the inner corner of my eye. I'm starting mid, well, not really midway, but quarter in. Okay, so there you go. Okay, after you've done that, what you need to do is get a blendy brush. Make sure you've got no uh, no product on it. Um, I'm using, oh, where is it? I'm using this one here. And what you're going to do is, starting from the front of your eye, we are going to try and blend this line out. 
Okay, so that's what we're doing. So blended that line in so it's softer. Okay, now I'm going to go into this pink right over here with which has a little bit of a shimmer to it. Not a lot, just a little bit. So get pack that onto your blending blendy brush, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to start right down here and we're going to start introducing this color in. And as you could as you could notice, I am going out in. When the color starts coming off, well, once you've used up the color, you could start taking this pink all the way out. Now, you can go right to the edge of your brow there because we're only going to be applying the highlighter on the inner part of your brow bone, okay? Okay, look how beautiful it looks already. Okay, now what we're going to do is apply some highlighter and I'm going to be using, I've got to do it like this, this very light peachy colour right down here. It's not actually a peachy colour, it's like a um, very, very toned down uh, nude colour. It's got a slight shimmer to it and I'm going to apply this right to the bottom there. And I'm not, not going to apply a lot. Okay, so we've done that, um, and now we're going to start applying this color right in the inner corner of our eye, and it's a lighter color. Okay, so get your, um, get another brush. So this is the color, this is the color that I'm going to be using, and I'm not sure if you could see in the camera properly, but it's actually a very light color, shimmery peach. It's very pretty, okay? So, get that on your application brush and pat this colour colour in. Okay, so I've got that there. I'm done. Now, I'm going to just go over, do the arch of my highlighter, and I'm going to be using this colour right down here, which is actually um, quite a shimmery white. Okay? And just carefully apply this color on. Now, if you've noticed, I applied a little bit and then I had to take the excess off my brush. And that's because these colors are very, very high pigmented, which is great because, you know, you can't you can't go wrong and a little goes a long way. Okay? So, I've got that that. So, there you go. There is my eyeshadow practically all done. Actually, not even practically. It is all done. Now, if you're a bit fussy like me, you could go back in, but you don't need to. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this all this off now and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what you should have right now. Now, we're going to start applying the eyeliner and creating um, all this artwork that you see right down here, which is looks very complicated and you just need practice to make it perfect. Now, I'm going to start with a cold pencil and I am going to put my coal eyeliner in, I like my um, eyeliner, uh, my waterline totally, totally full. Now, you need a good liquid eyeliner and um, you could use any eyeliner that you, you like and you, you find easy to use. For those people who are not used to wearing eyeliner like this, I would recommend you get an eyeliner pen because it's easier to guide. I'm using Sculpt Beauty's Gyline, which is liquid gel eyeliner and it's brilliant. Um, right, get a really thin pencil brush, okay? And we're going to take this line in. Now, you don't have to apply your eyeliner the way I am. It's just that I'm used to wearing it, so I have my own way of applying it. Now, just, it's never a right or a wrong way. It's just easier for me, okay? So, apply your eyeliner. Okay, so I have my eyeliner on my top eye um, lid. Okay, so now we're going to try creating this shape. Now, the best way to do this is start from the outside, take it in really thinly, and then start from the inside and take it in, and then you could start working on making the, this whole line thicker.
Okay, so there, there is my eyeliner. There are a little few bits that I um, have rushed and um, are coming out. I'll just tidy up that up later with my foundation. Um, so there's your eyeliner, okay? Now, what we're going to do is start applying some of this white, white shading that we have going on, okay? Now, for this, I am going to use um, Scott Beauty's white um, gel line, which is in is gel eyeliner but in white now you can use um, a white cold pencil if you want just make sure you sharpen it really really well so you get the line really precise okay so that's my white eyeliner gel eyeliner but you can actually um, use a cold pencil but you want the you want the shading to be quite prominent okay so um, use something which suits that. Okay, now I'm getting a, an angle brush. Apply that to your angle brush. And we're going to start off with the end first. Now this is going to be a hard look to master if you're a beginner. That difficult. So I've applied that that. Okay, so we want to apply this to the inner corner of our eye as well and careful with this there you go okay once you've applied that and I am going to use the same white that I used for my highlighter which is this one right here and it's got a shimmer to it so it's very pretty get that on your brush and very very make sure that there is you've pat the colour on really well and there you go that is your completed look. Now you can stop there and just put your mascara on and you know, there you have it. But I'm gonna actually apply some eyelashes just to finish this look off. I will apply them and I'll be right back. Hi guys, I'm back and I have my eyelash on. I have also put my mascara on, which brings us to the end of our look. Isn't that beautiful, okay? I absolutely love this look because I just think it's a wow, okay? Now, just to show you the picture again, um, this is a Sculpt Beauty picture and this is the Arabic um, Khaliji style makeup, which I did actually for a campaign. Um, it's the same type of makeup, just different lighting. So the colours look different. If you liked this makeup look um, and um, you found it helpful, there is a like button down here, which is a thumbs up. Uh, but you need to be watching this on YouTube to see that. Click like, let us know, because I would love to know what you guys think. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a drop, um, drop down box just below this video, this big, with all the details on um, where you can get the, the makeup palettes, the eyelashes, the, the eyeliner, the brushes, the contact lenses, which are from eye to eye contacts. I'm wearing natural grey. Also, there is a subscribe button down here if you're watching on YouTube and you need to subscribe to the channel, guys. Um, be the first to know about all our tutorials, all our updates, what Sculpt Beauty are doing. Um, and if you're one of those people who are always on the move, Sculpt Beauty have an iPhone app now and you'll have these tutorials and our updates and our Twitter and everything else straight to your phone. Um, and there is a link below which will take you directly to the App Store um, where you can get that um, up from it is absolutely free and it is absolutely brilliant and that brings us to the end also join our facebook page and um our twitter see what we are getting up to that brings us to the end of this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it i will see you again very soon my name is Osmi Koop and you are watching sculpt beauty